Today we are going to set up our server as our domain controller and our Active Directory server. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Zach with IT Career Questions. I hope you guys have VirtualBox loaded and ready to go because what we're going to do now is click on the Start menu and then we are going to click on Server Manager. If you just boot it up, you already have Server Manager open, you don't have to worry about it. What we're going to do now is click on Add Roles and Features. And click on that. This bunch of random information we're just going to do next. We're going to do a role based or feature based installation. And we have our server here, Westeros, with the IP. So in our last video, we named our server and we gave it a static IP. So this is what we are going to do. Click on next. And right here, we're going to click on Active Directory Domain Services. That's Active Directory Domain Services and we are just gonna click on add features and we'll click next again so here's additional features we don't have to worry about that right now we'll get into that at a later point so we're just gonna click next and we are gonna click next again we're gonna let this install and we'll come back to you in a couple minutes probably all right so active directory just got done installing so we can just click on close and this should reboot on us, I thought. Ah, we'll just go ahead and reboot it anyway. Just because I always feel comfortable rebooting things after I install roles. It's just been a long habit of mine. So we'll go ahead and reboot it and uh, we'll get logged back in. And then we will set it up for the domain controller. All right, so we'll get logged back in here. And we're going to wait for the server manager to load for us because it's just so convenient, right? All right, now we have server manager loaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and maximize this right here. And I'm going to click on this little flag icon. Uh, there we go. I was waiting for that exclamation point to show up there. Uh, so what we need to do now is it, we need to promote our server to the domain controller. Uh, basically it says right here we uh, installed Active Directory and we need to promote our server here. So what we're going to do here says select the deployment operation, add a domain controller to an existing domain. We are going to add a new forest. All right, here we go. So we're going to click on add new forest and then we are going to type our domain in there. So I am going to type in knownworld.local. You can put your domain as whatever you would like. You can do .local, .test, .internal, whatever you want it to be. And then you can just go ahead and, and hit next. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. Again, known world, if you watch our last video, Game of Thrones, that's what I like, sorry. Uh, here we go, forest functional level, we have a couple different options here, but we're just going to make sure that we have the Wor uh, Windows Server technical preview checked there, because that's fine, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, specify the domain controller capabilities, domain name system, DNS server, yep, that's what we want, go global catalog, that's fine, we'll just leave those default, type the, uh, alright, so we will type in our directory services restore mode password, so you guys can set that as whatever you'd like. And we are going to go ahead and click next. I'm just going to do next. All right, so the NetBIOS name, we're not going to change that. We'll leave that the way it is. We'll click next. All right, for the database folder, log files folder, and the sys volume folder, we're going to leave that all uh, the way that it is because that's fine. That's the way we want it. We're just going to click next. And here we go. We can review it if we'd like. So we're just going to click on next. So at this point, it's going to go through its process of installing everything that it needs to and make the changes that it needs to as well all right so all prerequisite checks pass successfully click install to begin so here we go all right so just finished installing and we're at a warning screen it says you're about to be signed out because it just got done installing so we're going to click on close and it's going to reboot for us so once it reboots we're going to have to log in as the domain so stay tuned all right, so we are back at our login screen. So we're just gonna go ahead and get logged in here. Known world slash administrator. So we'll go ahead and use our password there. Should just be the same as uh, your administrator password. All right, so now we're getting logged in. We'll check some settings here, verify that everything's okay. 
All right, so our server manager has loaded and we can go ahead and click on local server and here we will see domain knownworld.local. So that's good to see that our domain has stuck there. We still have the good, right computer name there. All right, so now that we know that information is okay, we can go ahead and click on the start menu and we can do all apps. And right here, we're gonna have Windows Administrative Tools. And here, you're gonna see Active Directory. So what we can do right now is just click on Active Directory Users and Computers. And from here, we should see that our domain right there, knownworld.local, and then we have basically our OU structure that we will have to basically determine. So in our next video, that's what we are doing. We are going to structure our OU. So stay tuned for that video because that will be more than likely a two-part video because we really need to define what our OUs are going to be doing and what type of environment our test system is. So stay tuned for that next video. If you guys have any comments, questions, suggestions, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. Love to hear from you guys. As always, I greatly appreciate you guys watching and take it easy.